Hi, here is a homemade digital Geiger counter. It features a display where we can see the a time counter. It shows the hour, the minute and the seconds, the voltage on the Geiger tube, the total of uh, pulses detected, an estimation of radiation dose in micro sieverts, and uh, the dose rate in uh, CPM. Currently it runs uh, by using an internal tube and uh, using this uh, radium watch I'll show you the dose rate increasing. You'll quickly see the CPM rising Right now it's at uh, 140. One hundred sixty-four, and uh, in a few seconds it will get as high as uh, three hundred and something. I built this device uh, with a useful feature. I can use it to plug in an external tube, and uh, this way it's very handy for testing uh, new tubes. So I can just uh, plug in this connector. This switch will uh, trigger the external tube mode. I'll just turn it off for a second. Right here I have the popular SBM20. This is the U version. One end is uh, terminated in a thick wire. And I'll be testing this tube against the radium watch. Having this, uh, these long wires is not the best way to go, but for this test it will be okay. Okay, turning it back on. We can see the background counts. The CPM is currently at uh, 36. Now it's uh, 48. Now back to 40. And if I place the radium watch near the tube, we get a considerable increase. You can see the lead pulsing at a very high rate. The total pulse count rising rapidly. When it gets over 1000 pulses counted, it will switch to kilo B, meaning kilo pulses, to save space on this uh, tiny display. Okay, so we have both uh, a kilo P of 1, meaning more than 1000 pulses detected so far, but also the CPM now is, has turned to K CPM, so we have a uh, higher dose now. The voltage on the tube is quite stable despite this high rate. So just we just uh, need to keep in mind that the count rate for the CBN20 tube with this radium watch has, uh, has been higher than uh, 1000 CPM. Okay, let's switch tubes. It's a good idea to turn it off when switching the tubes because at 400 volts can give a shock. It's not dangerous because of the low current, but still it's not a pleasant experience to, to touch the wires when the device is uh, powered on.
this one is the SE 29 PG a tiny tube for beta and gamma it has like uh, 20 pulses per minute so the CPM for the normal background radiation is around 20 CPM let's see what happens when I get the radium watch closer to the tube it should get very close to the CBM20 this is a very good tube considering its small size and here it is we already have more than 1000 CPM thousand CPM so I'd say it performs very well somewhere better than the CBM 20 thanks for watching